Hi, this is Alka, and welcome back to my channel. You know, I just got one of these uh, text messages from these politicians uh, asking for donations. Uh, this one was from Cory Booker, uh, for the senator from uh, New Jersey. Or oh, congressman, I forgot. Whatever it is. It's not important. But uh, um, I told them not one penny. And I told them why. Because I said, you know that case in New York with that Alan Braggs guy uh, convicted Trump? Did you know they killed congestion pricing because of him? I know, you're saying, what does Alan Braggs got to do with congestion pricing? Unfortunately, because of the fallout that's happening now from the conviction, you notice that Trump had a bump in the numbers. All of a sudden, he's on TikTok. He's had 2.6 million followers and it doubled since then. They raised over $200 million for him, $300 million for the Republicans. And there's fallout from yesterday uh, when Kathy Hochul had to cancel the uh, congested pricing. She comes up with a lame excuse about all oh, the families couldn't afford it. No, that's not the reason why she killed it. It's because the Democrats in the House in D.C., Feared if the congested pricing were to go into effect, the Republicans are going to use the congested pricing to kill any hopes of them regaining the House in November. That's the real reason why she did what she did. And she really pissed off a lot of people. If you don't think uh, 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 I'm making this up, go look for Alan Fisher's uh, video on the subject of Kathy Hochul and killing the congested pricing. He is royally livid. He's not even from New York, and he's livid. Because his city in Philadelphia did something shady as well. So, yes, you should ch check him out. You should follow him if you don't. But once again, I told Cory Booker that well, we're not going to donate to no Democrat for what happened with Trump. Because look what just happened. Congested pricing went <laughs> south for the winter. It may stay south for the winter. But it's good news for the people in New Jersey because they don't have to pay that $15. Or whatever they were going to pay, depending on vehicles they were carrying. Or they were in, uh, you know, trucks and so on. But the fact is, it still falls on Alan Braggs. His office didn't want to go out to fair beaters, and that's why congestion pricing was born to make up the lost revenue from all the fair being in the, in the boroughs. Sorry. Sorry, Corey. Not getting a dime. This is Alcan saying so long for now. Don't forget to stop. And stop donating to Democrats. They, they had no... They don't have the, the best interest in your heart. No, they don't. They only have the best interest inside your wallet. To take it out of the wallet and put it in their wallet. That's how it is. No, thank you.